Welcome to Things You Should Know, The Great War. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of St. Julian, another part of what is called the Second Battle of Ypres, located near Ypres, Belgium, between the German Empire and the Canadian Expeditionary Force on the 24th of April, 1915. After the battle over Gravenstaffel, the first Canadian's position, which was originally in the rear lines, had become the new de facto front line. This was only because of the bravery of Canadian Lance Corporal Frederick Fisher and his 13th Battalion of the Canadian Expeditionary Force Machine Gun Detachment. Operating bravely, they had stopped the push by the Germans on the 22nd with two well-timed attacks. Unfortunately, Fisher was killed on April 23rd in one of the sorties against the Germans. It was also during this time that the Allied commander sent the 3rd Canadian Infantry Brigade and reinforcements to fill the line between St. Julian and Bois de Cousineers. And I apologize for butchering that name. Not arriving there until 1 a.m. on the 23rd, where they were joined in an attack on the Germans at 5 a.m. by the 1st Canadian Brigade, who was sent to the west bank of the Yesser Canal to attack the Hilltop Ridge. April 24th saw the real battle, though. The next push by the German 4th, releasing another devastating chlorine gas attack, their target, the recently recovering Canadians west of St. Julian, including the 8th and 15th Battalions. Unfortunately for the Germans, the attack had some negatives to it. The first gas masks had been handed out. They mostly consisted of helmets with cloth padding, which they soaked in urine, and this did have some partial benefits. Unfortunately for the Canadians, they didn't have eye protection as well. This resulted in massive losses due to seared eyes and lungs, and this resulted in enough Canadian soldiers being incapacitated that the Germans were able to take the village fairly easily. There, the Germans held that village until April 26, surviving multiple attacks by multiple Canadian forces. On April 26, the Battalion 4, 6, and 7 of the Canadian Expeditionary Force sprung into action. They attacked the town ferociously and at one point had almost taken it back from the Germans. Unfortunately for them, when the Germans pushed back hard, they were extremely successful, once again using more gas. The Germans were able to secure the town, However, the Canadians did have a bit of a bright spot. They had been able to build new defensive works just outside the town. These new defensive works blocked the German advance from proceeding any further in this area and ended this portion of the battle. Individual casualties were not recorded specifically for this portion of the battle. Casualties will be included in the Second Battle of Ypres overall. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, The Great War.